Uh, Senator Dan Sullivan uh, joins us now. He serves on the Armed Services Committee. And, and one of the first things you say, uh, Senator, is that from day one, the White House has been focused on killing the production uh, of American energy. And I will grant you that the rhetoric was there. And, and even before uh, President Biden, uh, uh, before the election, when he said, I will kill the fossil fuel industry, there was the executive order in, in January of 2021 that outlined things. But that's a lot of, of rhetoric. You're in Alaska where this is a major export. Specifically, what has the Biden administration done in terms of permitting or leasing or pipelines, concrete examples of what the Biden administration has done that, that, uh, that you feel has, has made it harder to produce? Well, Joe, thanks. And like and you mentioned it, Joe Biden, when he was on the campaign trail, said he was going to and fossil fuels, and I think they've actually really tried to do that. Let me give you a couple examples. You mentioned there was, right when they came in, day one, there was a 60-day moratorium on anything, and I mean anything, with regard to federal lands. All stopped. Okay. 60 days after that, the Assistant Secretary in Charge of Lands and Minerals said that any application to drill, these are thousands of permits to do the basic work on leases, which have been traditionally approved at lower levels in federal government um, uh, officials in Alaska, this, administ uh, this assistant secretary said she has to approve everything. Right now there are 4,600 of these applications to drill stuck in the headquarters of D.C. When Joe Biden says he's going to do everything he can to help uh, limit energy prices, this is exactly one of the examples. They should get rid of that memo, that, that authority right now, and start approving these applications to drill, over 4,000 of them. So that's one big thing. And then at the national level, Joe, and you guys see it, you know, in order to get the nod to be a federal regulator, think about it. You have to commit to the holy war against energy. Think about the nominees they put forward for comptroller of the currency, for the Fed with uh, Miss Raskin, the SEC chairman, even the FERC, they are all putting out rules that are anti-energy. This, of course, hurts investment, and it sends a signal that the federal government doesn't support energy production. So it's a huge issue, and from day one, they have been focused on killing energy infrastructure, production, 